everybody, especially welcome all Assassin's Creed fans. Today we are going to Istanbul. And since there are not that many collector's editions for Assassin's Creed Revelation, I will also add all those that are combining first four games plus combinations with Assassin's Creed 3. They will be in the second half of my video and at the very end I will do my honorable and dishonorable picks. And we are starting with Europe today. Oh, Europe? Why? Because America got niente, nothing, zilch, zip, no good collector edition whatsoever for Revelations. I don't know why they decided to do that, but that's what it was. So in Europe, you could either choose to go for Encyclopedia, then you will go for Animus edition with Encyclopedia, new movie Embers, bonus DVD and soundtrack, and nice package for all that. Animus edition was available more or less all around Europe, not just in UK or in Germany. If you preferred less of reading and more pictures, you went for a collector edition. That one was in an interesting box that opened like this. It contained instead of encyclopedia, hardcover art book and bonus DVD and soundtrack plus Ember's movie. Ezio was from Italy, from Firenze. So Italy picked up on it and they did their special localized edition. They called it Templar edition. It was just collector edition plus Ezio Mentore statue. Unfortunately, this one doesn't have any kind of nice graphic. If you wanted just that European version of Signature Edition, what US got, then you opt for Special Edition. There was also something called Ottoman Edition in Europe that didn't contain anything. But interestingly in Russia, Ottoman Edition also contained bonus DVD. That was the soundtrack. Speaking of it, it can clearly move to Russia. They got their own two collector's editions. One is called collector edition and another one is gift edition, not special or limited edition. Same mistake like last time. Collector edition contained big shiny box, but this time there was no special opening. Smaller box with game and soundtrack. Another hoodie. Sadly, it will be the last hoodie we will ever see in these collector's editions. Leather bracelet and the movie Embers. You remember last time I was talking that Russia maybe had additional collector edition. For this one, it is for sure. The very same box that was used in big collector edition was also used in their gift edition. This time as a main box. Their gift edition contained just additional DVD and that leather bracelet. Hence, gift edition. And that's it. You see why I'm covering more today. So what did we get for bundles? First of all, we got Ezio Collection. It was to celebrate re-release under PS4 and Xbox One. It contained Bust of Ezio, a special soundtrack and three lithographs. And as you can see, even those DVDs have a nice special cover. Then Europe and Australia only. Why even bother with North America? Not worth it. Got something called Anthology Collector's Edition. 
it contained for us five games in a very nice special steel book, also five big lithographs, and all was packed in a neat case. If you wondered, this edition was also released in Russia. But sadly, while Europe got their special artwork on the discs, Russia only got normal looking discs. Now you know why all those offers from Russia on eBay do not contain discs. Japan also got their two deluxe versions. One was Ezio Saga. This one was released around the time of Ezio Trilogy and it was their version of Animus Edition. It contained Black Encyclopedia, all three games on six DVDs, an additional bonus DVD, and all that neatly packed in a big box. That is why I call it their version of Animus, because of the Encyclopedia. And then they got Connor Saga. If they got Ezio Saga, why not Connor Saga as well? Connor Saga had White Encyclopedia, the one that you will see in next video in more details, then two soundtracks, and again all neatly packed in a big box. And this finishes all collector's editions for today. Now let's go for honorable and dishonorable picks. And there will be a lot of them today. Because North American region was suffering from that poor choice of not releasing any collector edition whatsoever, GameStop took over and was offering pre-order bonuses. Ezio Mentore and then Leonardo Flying Machine. Yes, that one that you are trying to forget from that 100% completion effort. In Europe, in Austria, you got some kind of version of steel book. I would call it wooden book. The name of it was Black Edition. But because there is nothing else there, just packaging, that's why it ended up in my honorable and dishonorable picks. In Czech Republic, we got something called Renaissance Edition or in their language Renaissance. And again, we are just talking about nice packaging and nothing else contained. By this time, I start wondering just how much of a cash grab this was. Attention! There were only 500 pieces of that special packaging released. However, the name Renaissance Edition was also used to sell standard trilogy. So be careful and check photos if you want to buy this one. A bit later, again in Czech Republic, they got their version of Heritage Edition. It was only for PC and we are just talking about nice looking packaging. But the pricing was set up to compete with PS3 and Xbox 360. As you know, those releases are usually more expensive than for PC. Finally, in Japan, we got something called Archive Book. However, this was just a pre-order bonus and there is no packaging that would put everything together. Last one is so-called Lady Liberty Collector's Edition, which was again a sum of pre-order things. When pre-ordering this game, you also got a special case for your PS Vita and a strategy guide. If you are wondering what does Lady Liberty mean, that is the localization name for Japan for liberation. Next time we will move to New World. And because New World is vast, that also means that we will get plenty collector's editions to talk about. So get ready for another full packed session. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a like, do not forget to subscribe 
and comment if you have any of these additions and what you think about them and what you think about my honorable and dishonorable picks. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye!